Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. So good Tuesday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show here in Prague. Uh, we're in Prague, uh, Czech Republic, and uh, a lot of meetings these, a lot of meetings this week, a lot of things happening in the Czech Republic with, uh, of course, the hotels are all back in action. The tourists are all back here. A lot of interesting new projects, a lot of, uh, of uh, micro, micro hotels, micro living um, projects happening, a lot more on the logistics also coming together. Um, Prague um, residential market back full, full in action. Um, many things happening here that we're also doing for our retail and our retail marketplace, which is coming up next year, covering Central Eastern Europe. So um, it's great to see that the city's back after two years of not being here. Uh, a lot more different events and things happening this week in Prague, so it'll be great to see you all from that. And now we'll do a little intro of our um, CRE awards in Budapest and also our CEE investment awards in Warsaw. And we'll go straight to uh, Winston, Winston Norman, our editor-in-chief of EuropaProperty.com who will tell you what the news is today. And enjoy the rest of the day, and we will see you on Wednesday. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Craig Smith, publisher of EuropaProperty.com. Welcome to the fourth annual Europa Property CRE Awards, the only international real estate awards event based in Budapest, Hungary, and covering the surrounding region. After a year of online events, now we are finally able to meet face-to-face with, our, with international, regional, and local commercial real estate professionals. With over 10 countries covered, including Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovenia, Slovakia, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania and Ukraine, this will be an event not to be missed. Check out our website, creawards.net or europaproperty.com. Good Tuesday morning and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show and here are the highlights from the EuropaProperty.com website for today and today we'll start with news from Invesco and Panatoni and they have completed the sale of a grade A logistics park in Gdansk to Iki to Exeter. This is a 110,000 square meter facility. Uh, it's located near the Lekvorensa airport and includes big box warehouses and uh, four last mile facilities and it is one of the largest facilities in the region. And uh, four of the new, newly constructed buildings are BRIAM, very good certified. And the building is 93% uh, leased, which according to the uh, JV partners is underscoring the strength of the location and the attractiveness of the facility. Uh, staying in the investment market and moving to Slovakia and Supernova has acquired four shopping malls uh, these are Max shopping malls, and uh, these go with their portfolio of 11 Obi supermarkets in the country. And the four malls are set to be optimized by the new owner, uh, according to eco-friendly and any energy efficiency standards, uh, as Supernova is committed to all its facilities in the region. And according to Marcus Pingera, he's the CEO of Supernova, it's great that we have been able to make this move and thus take a key position in retail real estate already in the fifth market for us. <clears throat> Staying in the um, real estate market and uh, Ryan Lee has been appointed the new CEO of Atrium, Atrium European Real Estate. Uh, Ryan, uh, in his new role, will succeed Liad Bazali, who has, who has been with Atrium for more than 15 years and is now leaving. However, he will remain with the company as an advisor until the end of 2022 and will actively support Ryan's transition of responsibilities. Moving to Romania and staying in the retail market and uh, Cushman and Wakefield Equinox have announced that over 500,000 square meters of new retail space is planned for the country uh, over the next four years in 10 projects, with each project having more than 10,000 square meters of GLA. Uh, the total stock of retail space across Romania has reached 4.14 million square meters by the end of quarter one 2022, uh, of which 2.88 million square meters was in regional cities and another 1.26 million square meters was in the capital Bucharest. The biggest delivery plan for this year will be Alba Iulia Mall, 
uh, with a total leasable area of 28,900 square metres, and this will be developed by Prime Capital and Mass Real Estate. And finally for today, moving to Warsaw and in the residential market, and Yariel has started the Neovo uh, residential complex in the Bomovo district, uh, which will be located uh, just 300, square meter, 300 meters away from the uh, Charnov metro station, which is a new metro station. And uh, sales have already started uh, and up on the 164 uh, apartments. And once complete, the investment will be partially powered by its own solar energy plant. Uh, Neovo will undergo Briam Green Building Certification and is expected to achieve a very good rating. And those are the highlights from the Euro Protocol News website for today. For more news, please join us tomorrow. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.